The de Havilland DH-110C Vixen was a twin-engine, twin-boom-tailed carrier-based fleet air defense fighter. It was a two-seat design, used by the British Royal Navy from the 1950s to the early 1970s. In 1946, the British Admiralty issued requirements for a jet-powered, all-weather, radar-equipped fighter. Discussions were held with de Havilland Aircraft Company, and it became clear that a crew of two would be needed to fly the fighter, as well as to operate the radar and navigation equipment. The aircraft design had to be adapted to allow the fighter to operate from aircraft carriers. The DH-110 was an all-metal construction, and used the same kind of twin boom tail design as the de Havilland Vampire and the de Havilland Venom. It was to be powered with two Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet engines. The DH-110 was also submitted by de Havilland as a night fighter for the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force. The Royal Air Force ordered nine prototypes, and the Royal Navy ordered four. However in 1949, the Royal Navy chose the de Havilland Sea Venom instead, and the Royal Air Force decided to cut their order to two prototypes. The first prototype was completed and conducted its first flight in September 1951. The performance of the prototype exceeded expectations, and by the following year it was regularly flying at speeds higher than Mach 1. Tragically, the prototype crashed during a demonstration at Farnborough Air Show in September 1952, killing 31 people, including the crew. Investigations showed the reason for the crash was a faulty design of the wing leading edge section. The design was modified to fix the problem with the wing design, and the second prototype was updated. This also meant the introduction of an all-moving tailplane. After the modifications, the Sea Vixen could no longer reach the speed of sound. By 1954, the Royal Air Force had abandoned their interest in the Sea Vixen, in favor of the Gloucester Javelin. The fleet air arm of the Royal Navy had however decided to adopt the aircraft type as a replacement for their Sea Venoms. In February 1955, 110 aircraft were ordered. The design was further improved before delivery, and sensors such as the radar was more directly tied into navigation and weapon systems. A semi-navalized prototype was completed in June 1955, and was used for carrier flight deck suitability trials. On July 2, 1959, the first Sea Vixen equipped squadron was formed. The first production model was the FAW-20, later redesignated the FAW-1. A second improved version, the FAW-2, could carry red top air-to-air -air missiles, rocket pods and the AGM-12 bullpup air-to-ground missile. It also had additional fuel tanks, an improved escape system and room for more electronic countermeasures equipment. It could however no longer carry the 1,000-pound bomb. While the Sea Vixen was never involved in any war, it took part in many operations, including the Indonesia-Malaysian confrontation in 1964, and to help cover the withdrawal from Aden in 1967. The Sea Vixen was retired in 1972, a total of 145 aircraft were produced.